Hello, I'm Emily and welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. Hello, future Emily here, just jumping in, I hope you don't mind. I need to tell you now that this video has major spoilers if you're a patron of mine and you're expecting one of these goodie boxes because I know it might take up to a month for people in say Australia to get their box so this is a word of warning if you do not want to see what is inside your box this month this video is not for you turn off come back tomorrow no hard feelings it's fine but if you want to have a sneak peek well it's not just a sneak peek it's full spoilers you can watch this video I really hope you enjoy it so we've made it to day three, which means I'm doing okay. I'm on, I'm on track. I hope you've been enjoying the video so far. This one should be a really good one and it's gonna span a few days. So if you know, maybe you don't, I have a Patreon and this month I will be sending out goodies to some of my patrons. Um, it's gonna be a Christmas box and I'm really, really, really excited because it's the last month. It's the last box of the year. So I wanted it to be really, really special. Now, I've had a quick check this morning and I have 128 boxes to send this month. So like I said, it's gonna take a few days to get them done. But this video is going to be the packaging of them, sending of them and showing you what's inside and what everybody's gonna get this month. So I am quite um, picky about my boxes and I want them to be really special. Um, I like to include exclusive illustrations that you can't get anywhere else. I like to include items from other makers if possible. Um, and yeah, it takes a lot of planning, my, my boxes. So this box is gonna be slightly different because although I am not putting as many items in the box and like this month I'm not having an external maker to help me, I'm gonna be spending a lot more of my time on this box because I want everybody to have a handwritten Christmas card from me. So obviously that takes time. So instead of, you know, like spending money with another maker, I'm using my time. Does that make sense? <laughs> so Christmas cards are coming. Every box of mine gets a postcard, an exclusive postcard. So those are coming. They're not here yet, but they will be. Um, and then the kind of the main item of the box is an enamel pin. I've never put an enamel pin in my boxes before, but like I said, I want this. I wanted this one to be really special. So if you follow me, you'll know that I've just released a load of Christmas items, a lot of Christmas enamel pins. I think have I done seven pins? Um, now this eighth pin is part of the collection, and I held it back from the Kickstarter because I knew I wanted to do it for my patrons and for them to have it. Um, so those are here, I have those pins. If you don't know already that my mum works with me here in the studio, so she's on her way here and I've said to her that I really need her help with these patron boxes. So I think today she will be printing all the address labels off, building the boxes, kind of getting them ready. We need to go through the new pin and sort them out, find any seconds. Um, and then we can start building as soon as my Christmas cards come and I've written them. <laughs> I don't know how long that's going to take me. Um, so yeah, let me show you the pin. It is so bright in here. It's so bright. Right, let me go and get the pins. Okay. So I've had these for a few weeks now. Um, I've just been putting off sorting them because I've just been too nervous. Um, now they're really small. They're really diddy. Um, but like I said, they, they match perfectly to my other pins. So, hopefully that is in focus. Um, but it's a gold enamel pin with the matching pink. And then on the little gift tag, it says, Love M. And I just thought it was a nice little gift to give. Um, I really hope that's been in focus. <laughs> I don't know how many I ordered. I think I ordered... 200 200 pins but like I said I've only got 128 boxes to do so I've given myself some leeway if there are any seconds but if I've got loads left over I might open up a few last minute slots <sighs> we'll see I don't know 
Um, so we need to sort all of those out. I've also bought, to kind of match that pin, um, a load of candy canes. So I've got like 150 candy canes that are going to go in there as well. So it's going to be a nice little simple box, an enamel pin, a candy cane, a Christmas card, a postcard. Um, it's not my biggest box by far, but I hope everybody loves it. Um, and they feel all Christmassy when they open it. So I think we just crack on with it. We make a start. I say me, it's probably going to be my mum doing a lot of this month's box. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Now a whole year has gone by I thought what we needed was time I wish I'd known better than I do all the right things There's so many things I regret And so many moments pass me Hello, so it's now Friday and I cannot believe these boxes have not gone out yet. I really wanted them to go out early this month, but it's just thrown me completely what's been going on. So I don't know when I last filmed anything for the Patreon boxes, but I was in here working on Wednesday and I got a phone call to say that Luca, my little boy, um, isn't doing good and you should leave the studio and come and check on him. And I went to go see him and he was poorly. He was really in a bad way. I rung the doctor who sent me straight to A&E with him. So that was very scary. I ended up spending the night in the hospital with him. Um, he's fine now, he's doing okay, he's on medication. Um, but it's completely just thrown off my patron boxes. Like I just haven't been able to do them. Um, and like my mum could have done them, but I needed to write the Christmas cards. So there was no point, I, I had to be here to do it. So I'm here now, it's Friday. I would really like to get as many out as possible. The problem is the envelopes for the Christmas cards haven't arrived. And I really, I bought like lilac nice envelopes and it says they're out for, well, it says they're coming today, but I can't see on the tracking that they, they're out for delivery. So I have to make a decision 
do I just put them in without envelopes? Which isn't nice really, I wanted envelopes. Um, but it might be that they just have to go in as they are. I think I filmed the unboxing of the Christmas cards, didn't I? So they're really nice. I did the artwork slightly off, but it's fine. It, they look really good. Um, my mum has built all those boxes down there. So we have enough boxes. So I think she's on her way. The plan is to get tidy, create little stations of everything that we need. And maybe she tells me the name of the person, I write the Christmas card, she packs the box and we just work together like that. Either way, I would like to get out as many as possible today. <laughs> so yeah, that's what's happening. That's your little update. And hopefully in a couple of hours, I will have a lot of boxes done. Maybe all of them, but I don't know. If I can get the majority of them done today, I will be very, very happy. <laughs> How do you want to do it with the uh, the names? Because you want to write the card there, yes, don't so. you? Yes, so. I give you the... I'll have these. I'll write the four the... cards and give you them. Yeah. Yeah? I'll sit here. Pen. Need a nice pen, do um, Do you think that's enough? Yes. Five. Should I put two Kelsey or just Kelsey? Two. Two or dear? Two. Two. We're done it's now four o'clock and we've managed to get all of the international patreon boxes done don't mind the lights on the floor they've fallen just don't worry about it and um, so we're gonna finish off we'll do the uk ones tomorrow so i'll catch you tomorrow hello it's now saturday we're here on a saturday me and my mom we're gonna get these patreon boxes finished it's taken us ages but today's the day we're gonna get them all done we've got all the UK ones to go out today and it will be done we will get it done <sighs> and then I need to tidy the office because it's such a mess in here so I've popped the lights on like I said those lights have fallen down and I need to fix them <laughs> so I have to say one thing that we've done differently with this patreon box that we've never done before is we've used click and drop so if you're in the UK that means that you basically buy your postage online, print your labels yourself and just drop them in the post box. I don't normally do that. I normally send them to my post office because I like to give them my business, but it just made sense to try it this time. And we've absolutely loved it. And I'll probably do a video on it in the new year on how I'm using it and how I'm getting my Patreon boxes done with it because it's so easy to get all the details on Patreon 
to Royal Mail. I'll do details of it in the new year. But for now, I need to write some Christmas cards. all finished with our patron boxes mum's there just working on the hedge bobs so yeah so we've got them all done how many did we do 128 128 boxes we got done so yeah we're very happy with that aren't we mum very happy we're very happy so we're gonna go and take them to the post box now hello so i got all the boxes out me and my mum did they went to the post box last night i just want to say thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you're a patron i'm sorry if there were spoilers there i did warn you at the beginning so you can't blame me <laughs> I really can't wait for you to get your box. If you do an unboxing, please tag me. I would love to see your reaction when you open it. And I'll see you tomorrow at six o'clock for the next video. Bye guys.